question. Can we build a BGP network with Aruba OS switches and a Comware 7 device? Spoiler, yes we can. Here's how. Hello, this is Joe Neville. Welcome back to Let's Configure BGP. So in the last video, we configured this three node BGP network using Aruba 3810M switches. This is what it physically looked like. Now in this video, we are going to do something a little different and we're going to swap out one of the Arubas, that Dash 1, replace it with a Comware 7 device and prove interoperation between Comware 7 and Aruba OS switch for BGP. So I'm using an MSR 1002-4, so that's a small router, very convenient for if you're doing lab work, nice little box. If you've got one of the other Comware 7 devices, you're wondering about the interoperation with that. So if you've got like a 10500, 11500, or 7500, something like that, I wouldn't be too concerned because it's using the same Comware 7 BGP stack. So that's the focus. Here's what the network looks like physically. Logically, it's going to look like this. It's a straight swap out of that Aruba switch, so we are going to still be using the loopback to build OSPF between our Conway device and this Aruba Dash 2. Advertising that, then we're going to pin IBGP onto those loopbacks, and we are going to run an eBGP session up to this Dash 3 device. So we're proving eBGP, IBGP, and we're going to inject this prefix 172.16.1 slash 24 and on my other two devices I'm going to be injecting prefixes to prove that we can get end-to-end -end exchange between these two operating systems. Please note I've added an extra prefix here just to prove that the Conware 7 device is happy to receive prefixes across an eBGP and an iBGP. To avoid going over old ground, I've left the configuration of Dash 2 and Dash 3 where we left it at the end of the last video. Link on the screen to that now. If you haven't watched it, please do. All those configs are publicly available on GitHub. Here you can see the configurations I've posted up there under Episode 1. I'll put a link to this in the description and I'll be posting the configurations from this video up there as well. So let's get into the configuration. Here I've got three SSH sessions. The MSR is top left, bottom left we've got dash two, then over here is dash three. As you can see, dash two is already configured fully. I've got my OSPF and my BGP on there. Dash 3. Same again, we've got this one's just got the BGP and a different AS. It's all ready to go, so let's have a look at the MSR. First of all, I'll just show you. The display version. There we are, MSR. 1002-4 running Conware 7. Here's my start configuration. So I've put the loop back, I've put the IP addresses, I'm just using sub interfaces. So nothing particularly exciting here. You can see this is these are using layer 3 interfaces, so I'm not use because it's a router, I I'm not using VLAN, so I'm just using this gigabit 0 0 divided up into VLAN 10 and 11, but the way that manifests itself is just as sub interfaces, and then you put this VLAN type on there, dot one Q, so it's sending tra tag traffic, and that's the VID. So that's the tag that's going to be used for encapsulating the traffic. Let's start off. I've just noticed that I need to add that to 11 so let's do that vlan type dot one q vid as you can see you just choose so that will be the one that runs from our msr up to dash three okay
So let's start with the OSPF, building that OSPF connection between the MSR and Dash 2. What I like to do is configure the OSPF process under the interface. Just put it in area zero. Now on the sub interface connecting to dash two. And that all important network type so we don't have to wait. And we're up already, so we've got our OSPF peer there. On the Aruba OS device, it's a show IP OSPF neighbor. We can see on both sides, the tables are very similar. We've got full, there we are, full. And we can see that that loop back from dash two is being learned via OSPF. And we can ping, great. Now let's move on to configuring that local prefix that I need. I haven't put that in, so that 172.16.1 slash 24 I need to put that on the MSR. Now, this is a difference between an Aruba box and a Conway 7 box. On the Conway 7, you can have a loopback that has a variable length mask. So that's what I'm going to do with this one. I'm going to use a loopback and give it a slash 24. On the Aruba device, it looks like you can't do that. That was only giving me the option last time for a slash 32. So what I was doing was adding a, an extra VLAN that just basically didn't go anywhere so I'll show you that now we're going to add these local subnets that will be injected into um, BGP now let's do the Commerce 7 device first okay good now down on the Aruba OS device Okay, good, done. Um, now let's go to the MSR and configure BGP. There's 65001, router ID, peer statements rather than neighbor. Okay, so to 2, 2.2.2. .2 .2 .2. And it is AS number good. Remember that all important connect interface. Great. Now, this is something extra that you need to do with Conware 7 because we have address families that are configurable with Conware that we don't see with Aruba OS. So I need to create the address family IPv4 unicast, add the peer in there and enable. While we're at it, let's put in our locally injected prefix as well. Remember to get that, remember that that uh, prefix mask must be exact. Okay. And I'll configure the connection up to dash three as well. That's going to be two AS number 
Enable. Display this. Okay, looks good. You always have to remember to put in the type of address family when you're configuring a, a Conware 7 device. It can be a bit tricky. Good, we've got our connection up to 2222 established already. Great, and we're established to dash three as well. You can see both established. Now, one of the things that I have yet to do is I need to add that additional prefix on dash two in. So we'll, we'll go down. Oh, it's. Network. Okay, so that should be advertised. Give you that full command. Display BGP routing table IPv4 on the Conwest 7 device. Okay, great. So what have we got there? We have got the locally injected 172.16.1 slash 24. That is locally injected. We've also got that new prefix that's coming off of dash two. As you can see, internally learned. Next stop is 2222. Fantastic. And we also have the prefix coming from dash three. Now that's coming from dash three directly here. It's also being advertised out. It's being learned and then advertised from two as well. That's a less preferred prefix there. This is the one that we would take and that gets passed. You can see you can see the arrow next to it showing us that that is the preferred route directly out to dash three. Let's ping dash two's prefix. Prove that we're good. Now let's ping dash three's prefix. Prove that we're good. Fantastic. So we've got end to end connectivity between our Conway 7 device and our Aruba OS switch device. Now, an extra step just to show you. If we do a verbose on the devices, you can see what those come across as. So, and this is quite an interesting part, I thought. The MSR, so we can choose different address families from the MSR. It looks like a standard neighbor from the Commerce 7 devices point of view. The peer optional capabilities, I think, are quite interesting. So the Aruba OS switch device is sending the fact that it it's optional, it's optional capabilities. It is sending that it supports BGP multi protocol, and it is advertising. So that's received on this end on the Conway Seven device. So the Aruba OS switch device is sending that it can do the. IPv4 unicast. Now, just to drill this home, when you look here at the root, IPv4 unicast is the default on a Ruba OS switch. You don't explicitly configure it. Whereas you have to with the Conware 7 device.
and to show you a similar command on the Aruba OS device here's the Conware 7 device this is what it looks like and you can see those optional capabilities here we've got the capabilities there this is Aruba OS so the announced is from its point of view and it is announcing that it is pro multi protocol IPv4 unicast and it receives that from the Conware 7 device okay so it was as simple as that that's an Aruba OS switch and a Conware 7 BGP network and you could see the interoperation there I think that really drives home the point that it's not about the OS that you need to really know in depth it's the basic principles and then the OS and the syntax is pretty simple and interchangeable you know the deal please like dislike comment subscribe however you feel I'll post those configurations up on GitHub but well, that's all for now. My name's Joe Neville. Thanks for watching and goodbye.